of the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. How you doing, guys? One thing I found out when I was younger is I much prefer a workplace that's more independent. I found out quickly I didn't mold well in the corporate setup. And for those of you who work for corporations, you know the difference. They tend to encourage one-dimensional thinking. They homogenize the workplace. They homogenize people thinking. They encourage ratting your coworkers out. I'm not saying that some instances they shouldn't, but they kind of tend to avoid any type of independent thinking. The corporate way is the way to go. I preferred independent because it was more room for diversification. I didn't like to go by the rule book 100% of the time, but because of the most part, it really didn't work. When I started studying with JWs way back when, I had the initial impression that these were just normal people like everybody else. Wasn't too far into it when I discovered that that wasn't the case. Now this is where the born-ins had the advantage over those who came in at a later date because they knew the way ins and outs, they knew how to avoid certain things. Come to find out that when you knew or you don't act a certain way that they are watching you. Somebody had made a comment in my last video about the movie The Invasion of the Body Snatches. For those of you who are, may not be familiar with it, it basically was about this alien race that were taking over humans while they slept. And these aliens now in the guise as humans would be walking around in this almost hypnotic state. The surviving humans, to move among them, basically had to do the same thing as walk through this hypnotic state so they could get from one place to another. It wasn't too difficult before the aliens spotted, spotted them and just realized that they didn't fit in. And this is how it is at the Kingdom Hall. After a while, if you don't act a certain way, if you don't talk a certain way, and you don't think a certain way, it's going to stand out that you don't fit in whatsoever. I was in, oh God, I started noticing this closing in after my first year, that these people would turn you in at a drop of a hat. I learned over time that you couldn't even really talk to them about anything of any consequences. So I pretty much started keeping to myself. And I lost my train of thought where I was going with that. <clears throat> like I said, the born ins were pretty much knew this, so they could get away with murder. After a while, I was in about six years, and that was it. I obviously didn't fit in. People kind of backed away. Basically, they like to use 1 Corinthians 1.10 as an example, which was so misapplied, because it didn't say you had to have this robotic corporate thinking. Basically, everybody acts a certain way to benefit those at the top of the pyramid. It's not spiritual, it's corporate. And this is a corporation like any other corporation. To say that there's love in the organization, no, no. What they have is what they, is rule book love. It's just, it comes out of a text. They're told how to act. When you don't act like them, or you're mocked, or you leave, that love is turned off like a light switch. The mistake they made with me was thinking they were going to buffalo me. I lived most of my life outside of the organization. I've had friends in my lifetime outside the organization. And I could spot the difference. This is the one thing the born ends didn't know because they were told that people on the outside were ruthless, drug addict, alcoholics. They were going to cut their throat, they're backstabbed, and all this hoo-ha. And this is pretty much what I found out inside the organization. There was no way they could convince me otherwise. Comparing my friends on the outside to potential friends on the inside, there was no comparison. It was so outweighed from the, on the outside. But not saying that there's not honest people in the org, but once you've left, 
They have no integrity. They will turn off any affection, put the blinders up, and totally ignore you like you never existed. And this is where they allow a corporation to take their independent thinking, their independent feeling, their behavior, and allow them to control it. They think it's spiritual, but no, like I said, it's corporate, it's, it's fake, it's phony, it's not real. Oh, like I said, I'm much happier outside the org than I've ever been. I was never really that happy. I just could not see living my life in a blinder like that, you know, just not knowing what's going on. Is this limited to Watchtower? No, it is not. Is it possible that people who have left the organization still have this thinking? Uh, I'm going to touch on that in my next video because there's a lot of things that I've noticed over the last month that has been going on. And I'll talk about that after the weekend, guys. You guys enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to you soon.